Welcome back, Orleans, to more Inquisitor. We've gotten permission now from uh, the Grand Pope, Welthar, to uh, arrest the Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick. Hedrick. As you uh, can assume, this is not going to go well because she's a person of immense power. But, in the name of the Lord, what must be done must be done. Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick, I arrest you on the basis of reasonable suspicion of heresy and of orchestrating of a conspiracy against God and the King. You're coming with me. I beg your pardon. Is this some sort of joke? I assure you, Knight, I am in no mood for jesting now. You can't imagine what I've gone through in recent days. I'd like to confess to you. Uh, do you want to confess to all your crimes you're accused of? What, what are you talking about, Nice? What crime should I confess to? Do you realize who you're talking to? Your accusation, whatever it may concern, is ridiculous. Leave immediately or I'll have you removed by the guards. Hardly so, Grand Duchess. I've come to arrest you and take you to prison where you'll wait during the course of the investigation. Will you go with me voluntarily or will I have to force you? How can you dare? You lay your hands on the wife of the governor of the royal city? You... But you will regret it, I guarantee you. All right, if you stick to your delusional charges, let's go. The sooner I see you in prison instead of myself, the better. Let's go, bitch. And looks like the husband's pissed off. <clears throat> Are you mad, knight? What on earth did you do, arresting my wife and accusing her of heresy? Did you go out of your fucking mind? What were you thinking? Explain yourself. Your wife is accused of serious crimes, Grand Duke. I must look into all circumstances of the case, otherwise I won't be able to discover the truth. Stop this expert talk, Knight. You arrested her and made her, and made me as well look suspicious. Believe me, I'm going to destroy you before you have the time to say how sorry you are for that. Nobody's going to mess with my family. My wife is completely innocent. As you wish, Grand Duke. We'll see who's right in this case. Yes, that's put nicely, Knight. We'll see. And you'll see you won't like what you'll see. Goodbye. Right. And as we all know, this chick is 99.99% .99 guilty as fuck. She's been too over turned over by her two culprits, Vertano, Raymond Vertano, uh, and uh Lee Pasquet. She is involved in the kidnapping and demonic abuse of Francesca Golverde. And by demonic abuse, I mean things that are too, even too terrible for the game hoarder to repeat. I'm sure we'll find out exactly what's going on when we torture this bitch. Sheriff, I need to imprison the suspect in jail until proven guilty or innocent. But of course, Knight, who's that? Juliet Hedrick. Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick? This must be a mistake, right? You don't want me to imprison Grand Duchess Juliet, do you? I most certainly do, and I'm not willing to discuss it with you. Very well, as you wish. Those are bad times. I'm just doing my job. I'll lock her up. And I need to interrogate this bitch, too. Juliet Hedrick, the wife of the Grand Duke Robert Hedrick, who's royal governor of the city, one of the most powerful nobles in the realm? Well, if you think it's wise, Knight, you can kind of bear the consequences yourself. It's my duty to obey your commands. What kind of interrogation do you want to use? The rack? Strapato or the pillory? Put that bitch up on the rack. Fine, I'll tell my boys to get her ready. You may proceed to the torture chamber.
Grand Duchess Julia Hendrick, you are charged with organizing the conspiracy against God and the crown. According to the indictment, you, as a fallen soul, prepared and, along with other heretics, performed the ritual of invocation of the fallen angel Baphomet. Furthermore, you ordered Francesca Gilverde to be kidnapped. In the name of God Almighty, I ask you, do you confess to these sins, bitch? No, I'm completely innocent, and I won't speak a word from this moment on. You won't hear a sound from me, I promise. The Archangel Gabriel and the First Prophet himself will give me strength to resist the pain you and your perversity are going to inflict me. And sooner than you'd expect, you'll be in my place. You'll be rightfully punished for what you've dared to do to me. Remember my words, asshole. If you don't confess voluntarily, Grand Duchess, I'll have, although I would hate to do it, put you to the torture. As I said, I'm innocent and you won't hear a fucking word. In that case, you don't give me any other choice. Executioner. Do your duty to this hoe bag. That's right. I ask you again, Grand Duchess, do you confess to the crimes you're charged with? You won't gain anything by being silent. Plead guilty and the interrogation will end. Nothing in that case. Stretch that bitch out nice. I'm sure she couldn't get any looser. Anything? Nothing? More pain then. I can do this all day, ho bag. I can smell this taint of demon cum on your twat. You bastard! You scabby cripple! You son of a treacherous bitch! I curse you! I curse you a thousand times! May black worms eat your entrails while you still live! May your limbs be broken hundredfold! May ugly, stinking, festering ulcers appear on your body, and may your cock never stop dripping blood. You'll be punished by Lord Baphomet, the master of chaos and the ruler of madness. The time will come when he rises out from the depths of the earth into the world, and you will be the first who will make his drooling slave, and then all others will follow, until the world is in complete madness, and brother will murder brother for eager wanton lawyers of his sister. That's right. Sister fuckers! I assume this nice speech of yours is a confession, Grand Duchess. You poor wretch! You're toiling here with all these pretty charges of yours, and you don't understand you stand against something that exceeds human comprehension. Stop pretending at being brave, knight of God, and admit that even now you're looking into the face of eternal despair. You'll suffer for laying your hands on me, you cocksucker. The first concubine of the Lord Baphomet. Oh yes, you heard me well. I fornicated with the fallen angel himself. He fertilized me with the seed of madness and made me the mother of his cursed children of chaos. Come to me, my children. Come to me. Your mother calls you. Kill that disgusting minion of the dead god. Eat his entrails and gouge out his eyes. Tear him to pieces and take me back to your father, Lord Baphomet. What? What is... Oh my, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> You can't take on the game, hoarder, son. I guess I gotta heal. Whoops. God damn it. Do mega fucking damage.
those demon children was way more powerful than the other ones. He had that fucking crazy dust shield around him. So, she just summoned her little baby demons on us and killed guards. Your disgusting children are dead, bitch. As you can see, no one will help your ass. No! You murderer! You damn bastard! You killed my children! My beautiful, beloved children! You killed them! Yes, Grand Duchess. And I can hear the demon coming forth from your evil fucking lips. Or I'm about to smack you in the face with my cock. Confess now! You bastard! You killed my children! Dietrich the Gravedigger confessed he procured for you dead girls' bodies from a city cemetery, and you paid him for it. Is this true? So that scabby bastard told you. Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. Yes, he procured for us a corpse we needed. It was the corpse of a young girl, almost a child, but not a virgin anymore. And also she was mad, just as we needed. It was told that she lost her mind when her own father raped her. She was so sweet, those beautiful lips, little hard breasts, and the shameless loins. Have you ever fornicated with a dead girl, Knight? Have you ever sucked delightful breast of a crazy woman dead for thirteen days? What did you need the corpse of that poor girl for? To invoke the fallen angel of Baphomet? Sha! What else? Why do you sass so stupidly when you know it? I must tell you that the god of yours looked with envy when I ripped out the entrails of that dead bitch and put the poisonous snake in their place. And I'm convinced that your god still only silently envied when the others violated the dead girl to give rise to the Lord of Baphomet. I'm sure he would be preferably join in. He made a mistake when he was bound himself for two absurd rules and restrictions. He can't even guess what delights he's missing because of it. Blasphemer. Who were your accomplices? Who helped you to prepare this perverse ritual? Why? You know it, you poor wretch. So why do you ask me? Your tortured confession out of Raymond Ventano and Commander Ethian de Pesquet. So what's your point here? You should have seen them when they, in ecstasy, took hold of the corpse of that scabby bitch down there in the ancient temple. They ripped off her shroud like wild animals and took her in such a way that they almost destroyed the corpse. It was a wonderful sight. Whose idea was it to summon the fallen angel Baphomet? Who devised that madness? And what did you intend to achieve by doing it? You still don't understand, do you? Your mind is unable to accept the fact that glorious God's earthly kingdom is soon to end after stinking here for a thousand years and that infernal powers will assume the reign of the world. You defend what exists no more, you fool. Lord Baphomet entered our world, and he will soon open the gate of his temple of madness in it. And then utter madness and chaos will overcome the world. Brother will kill brother. Sister will perish by the hand of her own sister. Out of flames of infernal madness, the kingdom will rise, ruled by Baphomet's chosen one. I will be amongst them, because it was I who devised his resurrection. I knew when Lord Baphomet walks the world again, the prophecy in which I had been foretold a kingdom without borders would fulfill. In that case, you will surely tell me when you found out how to invoke the fallen angel Baphomet in this world. What? What do you mean by this, you wretch? If it was your idea to invoke the fallen angel Baphomet, you can surely tell me how you found out what you needed for the right. I had a dream in which Lord Baphomet appeared to me and ordered me what I must do. So what happened? And I did his bidding then. And now he's amongst us, and you're going to become his slave soon. You're lying, bitch. You might have had a dream, but to perform the rite, you needed certain books that describe it. What was the name of the book? Do you know it? Book? What book? The book, Libre Demonium, in which there's the description of the ritual the invocation of the fallen angels. But... So it wasn't your idea to invoke the fallen angel Baphomet. So, whose was it? It was my idea. I devised it, and... No, Grand Duchess, you are lying. The book Libre Demonium had to be sent to you by Bishop Valerian from Hilbrandt after he got it from the merchant Kurth Olmier. You don't know a goddamn thing about the book. So, who was it? Who led you astray and made you do all those crimes? Who stands behind you? Whom do you cover? As you can see, neither him nor the fallen angel Baphomet will help you. It was... 
It was Cardinal Tranquilius. We had been lovers for years. He revealed to me the secrets of forbidden books and magic grimoires. He taught me like his disciple. We performed many forbidden rites. He always suggested to me that the time would come when we both were powerful, very powerful, that he knew something would change the whole world. And this spring, he came to me and told me the time had come. He promised to place me alongside Lord Baphomet, who we were supposed to invoke. He declared that this world will perish and the new one will be born, ruled by the fallen angel and by us. He told it was needed only to invoke Lord Baphomet, so I did his bidding. He told me what I had to procure, a corpse of a crazy girl buried thirteen days in holy ground, a poisonous snake, desecrated host, fresh blood of lamb, ashes from the executioner's stake on which a heretic burned. I got it all, and Lord Baphomet really came. Cardinal Tranquilius, you're a fucking liar. Are you surprised, knight? <laughs> it was Cardinal Tranquilius. He planned it all in detail and entrusted me to implement it. At least he wanted me to think it was his idea, but I found out he probably acted at someone other's bidding. He had on him several letters, brought to him by the spring by a messenger, Alvaron. He thought I didn't know about them, but he underestimated me. Oh, I'm not so naive to believe everything he was telling me. Letters? What letters are you speaking about? As I said, Cardinal Trunclius had letters on him that he guarded like crown jewels. I'm sure there were instructions in them upon which he acted when preparing the rite of invocation of the fallen angel, Baphomet. Who wrote the letters? I don't know. A messenger brought them to him from Alvaron, the capital of the realm. I don't have the slightest fucking idea who wrote them. But I know Cardinal Tranquilius guarded them like crown jewels. Well, was it you who murdered Bishop Trevorius? Yes, I killed him. I prepared a deadly poison and gave it to him. The trustful fool accepted it and even faked me. I thought he would be more suspicious since the attack of Francesca Gavardi, but I was surprised how long he endured the effect of poison before falling dead. I was waiting for him by the Grand Duke's gazebo, right where you were to meet him on the secret conspiratorial meeting of yours. Don't be surprised I know about it. I know many things. And there, by the old desolate gazebo, where no one goes by these days, I gave him the drink. I'm just sorry I wasn't able to play with his dead body. What do you know about the cult of the children of the New Order? What cult? I don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't ring a bell. Why should I know a cult? Because the cult presumably plans something greater than just invoking the falling angels. And if you don't know a thing about the cult, then it's plain as day you were just exploited and that they never counted you as being Baphomet's concubine. You were exploited and fooled, you stupid bitch. I haven't had a thing about any cult. I suppose that evidence of your husband's heresy was false as fuck, wasn't it? Correct. Carlo Tranquilius thought that we could keep off the attention of the Holy Inquisition that way, and I would get rid of that loser who had annoyed me my whole life. I don't believe you, Grand Duchess, that the Curial Inquisitor Cardinal Tranquilius is behind the invocation of the fallen angel Baphomet. You will be interrogated until you reveal the name of the real culprit. Beats you, doesn't it? But it's true, you wretch. Cardinal Trunculius devised it and planned every detail, provided he wasn't acting on behalf of somebody else's, as I personally presume. In that case, stretch this bitch out! I ask you again, Grand Duchess, who schemed the crime of invocation from the fallen angel Baphomet? I already told you, you fucking wretch, that it was Cardinal Tranquilius, provided there isn't someone else. Okay, I don't think she has anything new on on uh, that, but let's question her on uh, Cult of the New Order. <laughs> I think we might have gotten everything we're going to get out of this dirty, stinky hill, though. We can always come back and torture her later. She isn't going anywhere. Actually, I'm going to burn that bitch at the stake.
All right, so we have some more information here. We have to get the letters Cardinal Trinculius has on himself at any cost. Grand Duchess Elit Hedrick asserts that they convict him of heresy and of conspiring against God and King. So we know it'd be who's behind the murder. I don't know why that... Tintin, the time has come for you to return to me the favor. See, it's here. You need to obtain something, don't you? I wonder what it would be. Do you like something in the shop of the Master Armor Jukmo? Or have you taken a fancy to some goods of a wise woman of Jungwit? Just tell me I'll obtain anything. I'd like to get certain letters what Cardinal Trochilius has on him. What? What did you say? No, it's out of the fucking question. <laughs> to rob the Curial Inquisitor? Have you gone, Mad Knight? We would be both executed sooner than we would shout we're terribly sorry. I won't do that for you. Come with something different, not that madness. I don't need anything else, asshole. I want those fucking letters. If you don't bring them to me, I will accuse you of some really nasty shit, and I'll personally ignite the stake under you. I understand. You want those letters. No problem. You should have told me straight off that you wanted them that much. There's no need to threaten me. You want letters to the Cardinals Tranquilius has on them? All right, I'll get them. I'll set to work immediately. Give me some time. I'll handle it. We'll meet beyond the town by the Royal Gazebo. I'll wait for you there. That's better. That's the kind of shit I want to hear. Up. Oh, Crystal. Hey, girl. So how's it going to them? You have what I asked you. Say, Knight, you wouldn't doubt my skills, would you hit you? But I tell you, my legs are shaking even now. I've never dreamed of robbing Cardinal Tranquilius himself. I have a feeling I'll be soon starting to earn my living as Master of Arts. I'm too old for this shit. A wise decision, anyways, thank you. It will probably be better if we don't meet again. You're certainly right, Knight. And you know what? Why don't I start the new life instantly? Since I was born, I've been living poorly here in fact, but why not try my luck in some other corner of the realm? Tintin's Roadshow. That doesn't sound bad, does it? I could become Master of Arts I've ever dreamed of becoming, and play parts of princes and kings, of mighty warriors and fair lovers. Do whatever you want, Tintin. But if someone gets to know what you did for me, then I'll come and fuck you up. Sure, Knight. And you'll come and I'll be sorry till my death. Don't be afraid. I'll hold my tongue. It's also my head at stake, isn't it? Yes. Farewell. And thanks for dropping the incriminating heretical letters with me. These letters are written by an unknown heretic from Alvaron to Glatzburg Curial Inquisitor Tranquilius. My dearest, the time has come. The rooks rose up to the sky, and the dragon laid a golden egg. It is time to open the floodgates and let the dark currents absorb the towns and cities. You know your duty. The book that has been lost and found again says it was clear. Says it clearly. The search has come to an end, as well as the kingdom of God on earth. Be ready to unlock the lock, but hurry, for the shadows of the past are following hot on the heels, even though their heads are already in a noose. The Fisher.
Well, this should be interesting. I'm gonna say that's not tempting, is it? I'd like to submit a proposal for court proceedings against Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick. Now, decision that he's the wife of the royal governor of the city is a serious one. It's my holy duty as inquisitorial judge to ask you if you have enough evidence for the indictment. You surely can imagine the consequences of such an action. I have plenty of evidence, Your Honor. Dietrich the Gravedigger testified Grand Duchess paid him a fat price for procuring a corpse of a mad girl on her. Other evidence against the Grand Duchess are the confessions of Commander Ethian de Pasquet and the merchant Raymond Vitano. They both confessed it was Grand Duchess Juliette who planned the purported rite of invocation of the fallen angel Baphomet and the kidnapping of the servant girl Francesca Govarde. As the last proof, there is a confession of the Grand Duchess Juliette herself. I won't try to hide my surprise, but your evidence is convincing. Hereby, I, as judge of the Holy Office, order the trial to be held against defendant Juliet Hedrick. God's will be done. Court to the Inquisition is about to start. I, Judge Welfare, entrusted by the Holy Mother Church and God Almighty to discover, prosecute, and punish crimes against God and faith, commence this trial against the defendant, Grand Duchess Julia Tedrick, who is accused of heresy and conspiring against the faith, the Holy Mother Church, the King, and against God himself. I hereby ask the prosecutor to speak. Thank you, Your Honor. With your kind permission, I'd like to present the evidence against the defendant, Julia Tedrick. You have my permission, brother. Let the truth be told. Now then, Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick was indicted as mastermind of all crimes perpetrated by Raymond Ventado and Ethian de Pasquet. Their confessions clearly speak against the Grand Duchess. It was she who devised the idea of invoking the fallen angel Baphomet. It was she who ordered to kidnap Francesca Galverde and use her in an attempted murder of Bishop Traverius. And the success, well, yeah. How disgusting. If it was really so, it would mean that the heresy of the worst kind is able to penetrate even the hearts of the high-ranking persons in the realm. It would mean that even those who should support the realm and to the true faith in these sad times may get tainted with spiritual plague. What other evidence does the prosecution have that could convince us of the guilt of the Grand Duchess? Dietrich the Gravedigger confessed he purveyed the dead body of a mad girl for the Grand Duchess and her henchmen. And then he did it for payment. The heretics needed a corpse for invoking the fallen angel Baphomet. I must say I'm disgusted at the crimes Grand Duchess is charged with. At the same time, I must express doubt she really perpetrated them. The evidence brought forth, although it raises suspicion about the Grand Duchess, isn't enough to prove guilt. Is there any other convincing proof? Yes, Your Honor. The last proof is the Grand Duchess's confession. She went even as far in her depraved pride as to plead guilty of all points of the indictment. Moreover, she confessed she reputedly fornicated with the invoked demon Baphomet, and that she gave birth to infernal creatures, arisen from the unclean one. And I fucking demon killed them in the dungeon. They're dead. Go take a look. They, in fact, came to help her during the torture. There it is. Money. God! What terrible crimes Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick did perpetrate! Oh, what a disgusting little bitch she is, and against all what sacred was the woman able to do. We all have to know her, and I believe in purity of her soul and kindness of her heart. Instead, she greedily drank from the stream of sin and fornicated with infernal powers. Amen, brother. But God, in his mercy, offers eternal salvation to people, and the Holy Mother Church will gladly administer the purgative cremation that will burn off all filth and retain only the essence of the human soul. Hence... I, in the name of God, and by virtue of the authority given to me, sentence Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick to be burned to death. The sentence is executed immediately. Let God be merciful to her soul. And knight the stake, son. Gladly. May God forgive you, you dirty twat. <laughs> We are burning bitches left and right. Oh, 
I guess this quest isn't solved because we still need to figure out more about the cult of children of the New Order. It's gonna pretty much all come to an end here once we uh, convict Cardinal Tranquilius. However, we gotta go see how Roberts is holding up because we just burned his wife at a stake. Hey, tell me that it's not true. Tell me that it's just a bad dream. I'm going to wake up in the morning and everything will be as it used to be. Can't believe my own wife could be a heretic. Unfortunately, it's the truth, Grandu. There's nothing we can do about it. It's my fault that all these years of my marriage, I wasn't able to recognize that I was having a devil in my house. But it's too late to do anything about that. I must get over it somehow. To tell you the truth, I never really loved you, Eliot. It's a political marriage, as usually is amongst the nobility. Still, her death means terrible complications for me, Knight. You can certainly imagine the consequences the scandal will have on my position as royal governor of the city. I can already hear all the schemers and intriguers in the royal court making plans to get me out of their way as soon as possible. I'm sorry about that, but maybe there is a way to prevent it. Yes. Maybe the heresy of my wife could be forgotten. If I could find a decent and noble woman who would become my wife and her good reputation could improve my battlehood status, I could hope that the consequences would not be that severe, yes? But that's the answer! I need to find a new wife from a good family to prove that my estate still trusts me. Can you help me that night? I'm not saying that it's all your fault that I'm looking for a new wife, but you played your part in it. You want me to find you a new bitch? Actually, why not? We have a deal. Excellent night, and please don't take too long, but still be careful who you choose, because if I don't manage to win the respect back in my day in the position of the royal governor, are over. We have a deal. <coughs> Okay, so now we have a quest to find a suitable wife for the Grand Duke. shot like 10 arrows into me. Didn't phase me at all. I'm leaving all the footpad scalps by the way. I'm just collecting them. And I'll pick them all up at the end of the game. It's not worth fucking with it. We're actually going to go back to the old section now. Back to Hillbrunt. since we've been here. Hail to you, Lady Baroness. Could I talk to you? Of course, Knight. I'd gladly talk to you. What's on your mind? Do you still mourn for your late husband, Lady Baroness? In case you don't, I'd like to take the liberty of offering you a certain proposal involving Grand Duke Robert Edric. I don't mourn any more nights. I grieve for my husband as it was proper for a faithful woman, and now I live and make good as a widow. Why do you ask me about that? What proposal do you have in mind? Robert is married, if I remember. Well, I won't try to hide. We always used to be close to each other. With all honor, of course. I'm glad to hear it, Lady Baroness, because the Grand Duke became a widower. Under very unpleasant circumstances, I have to say. His wife, Grand Duchess Yulid Hedrick, was executed as a heretic. Oh my god, Robert's wife was a heretic? I must have been politically ruined him. I never liked you yet much. She was a plotter and a coquette. But I never thought that she was a heretic. Poor Robert. It's only a matter of time when the shame ruins him. I'm sure intrigues are already plotted in the court to use to ruin his marriage and crack reputation against him. Exactly. Grand Duke Hedrick thinks exactly the same about it. However, he hopes to wed again soon and marriage could return him to part of the reputation and honor he lost so that he could stay in position of royal governor of the city. And that's why I'm here. I'd like to ask you whether you want to become the wife of Grand Duke Hedrick. My god, Robert and me? Husband and wife? I never thought about it, not even in my dreams. However, how could I help him to get back his reputation when I don't have any reputation myself? 
Well, I don't have anything, in fact. Even these clothes don't belong to me. How could I come to him and look into his eyes? No, that's impossible. I can't get married like some village girl. I'm sorry, Knight. I can't come to Robert when I don't have anything. Not even a wedding dress. I have my honor. I believe firmly Grand Duke Hedrick will buy you the most beautiful dress you've ever had. In fact, what if I were to get you a grand wedding dress? Well, I have nothing to pay you with, Knight. You could take it as a gift of God, Lady Baroness, because I believe God wants to see Robert and you as husband and wife. I am now a fucking, fucking matchmaker. Oh, really? Well, in that case... In that case, I agree, Knight. A very kind offer your help. I know an excellent seamstress who makes the most beautiful dresses the world's ever seen. Her name is Baroness Helen von Hunt. We used to be friends when I lived in Glathbrook. Find her, please, and ask her to make a grand wedding dress for me. A wedding dress worthy of the sight of Grand Duke Hedrick. All right, Lady Baroness, I'll arrange it. You should prepare for a journey in the meantime. I'll be back sooner than you think. Thank you, Knight. As for me, I'm ready. I have nothing more, only the clothes I have on me. Just some doggies to play with. I'd like to ask you something, Lady Baroness. I heard you were a skilled seamstress, and many Glassburg ladies wore a dress made by you, so I decided to ask for your help. I'd be happy to have Knight. What do you need? I need you to make a wedding dress for Baroness Elizabeth Van Singer. But of course, Knight, I'm going to make the prettiest dress for what you've done for me. I know Lady Baroness Elizabeth Van Singer. She used to be my friend when I lived in Glassburg, so I'm going to do my best. You can pick up the dress any time it's convenient. I'll stop by soon. Are you ready? Fortunately, I'm almost done. Hold on a moment. Of course, no hurry. Take your time. Don't worry, Knight. The dress will be beautiful. Just a few last stitches and I'm finished. Here you go, Knight. I wish I'd brought the Lady Baroness Elizabeth Van Singier. Singier. Good luck, and say hello for me. We used to be good friends. All right, we have the wedding dress, sewn by Baroness Helen von Hunt. Wonderful! It's hard to believe what splendor the Baroness was able to embody in such a simple cut. She seems to have been inspired by the Vendinian period, when simple dresses with scarce decorations were fashionable. It's obvious that looking back into the past, its combination with modern elements suits the fashion best. Okay. Carry on. Ronstock Long Shanks, the matchmaking fool. This is the last kind of side quest before we go after Tranquilius, which will wrap up Act 2. And lead us into the final act. 141, still getting 141 bucks. Buckazoids. We're killing those punk asses. Bring the dress. Here you are. My God, it's so beautiful. I knew Helen was wonderful. Thank you. Not at all, Lady Baroness. If you agree, we could set way out of Glassburg. Let's go.
I always confuse Gladsburg East and West. And pretty soon we'll be going to a whole new region. Region. A Avalon or Al Alvalon, something like that. Hello, Knight. Have you found a good wife for me already? The longer it takes, the bigger the chances that they remove me from my office. I can't imagine how quickly they make their schemes in the royal court, especially now that the king is in a difficult situation and gets influenced by people around him easily. Yes, Grand Duke. I think I found a good bitch, I mean wife for you. I believe you know her. It's Baroness Elizabeth Van Singer, the wife of the ex-royal vice governor. Elizabeth? Of course I know her, Knight. How could I have forgotten about her? Her husband died of the plague two years ago, and their mansion was burnt down in the night of the falling stars. She lost everything, so she left to go to her brother to the north of the realm. I haven't heard of her since. It's true that she'd make an excellent life, wife. She's of a noble origin. Well-educated, sociable, easygoing, faithful, and pretty. She had a difficult past. I must say that I've always liked her, but my social position prevented me from showing it. It really is a great choice, Knight. What do you think she'd agree? Well, the bitch is standing right here next to me. She's not in mourning anymore, Grand Duke. She agrees with the marriage. Really, that's great, Knight. That's all I could wish for. Elizabeth will make an excellent wife, I'm sure about that. And her sad history will make the marriage even more respectable, and nobody will be able to doubt it. Bring it to me. I already have her here. Good heavens, Elizabeth. So really you, I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Thank you, Knight, for your help. Here's your reward for your work. And now, please excuse me. Me and Elizabeth, we must, um, talk. We have so much to, um, talk about. Yes, yes, talk. That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I want to thank you once more for finding Elizabeth for me. She'll make an excellent wife. Oh, but you don't give me the, cheat, the key to your fucking... Your, your chesticle? You know what? I'm getting in this chest. Okay, maybe not. Bite open that chesticle. Oh yeah, it's gonna open now, buddy. Oh, we're doing damage. You don't mind, right? I procured you a new wife. I earned this shit. This is my hero tax. Holy shit, we're doing some massive damage to this thing. of the town anyways all right I just wanted to see what was in there I don't think I want to murder one of the games uh, possibly needed people I don't we certainly don't want to break any fucking quest at this point anyways it's time to go get Tranquilius somebody's going to jail Ain't gonna be Ron Stock Long Shakes. Alright, I'd like to charge Cardinal Tranquilius of Heresy, Your Honor. What? Cardinal Tranquilius, I must say you've taken me aback, son. You can't accuse the Curial Inquisitor of Heresy, can you? Why, well, he's my superior. I'm obliged to obey his orders. This would be disobeying a superior, and there's only one punishment for that death. But not in this case, when there's suspicion that he's perpetrated a crime, Your Honor. 
The Inquisitorial Codex of yours allows to temporarily suspend a curial inquisitor of his powers if there's an allegation brought against him. And then his subordinate inquisitors aren't obliged to obey his orders anymore until he's exonerated. I know what the Codex of the Inquisition says, son, but still, he's a curial inquisitor. He's a man I deeply respect, and he's great support and might in the fight against heresy. You can't charge him with heresy, not him. That's madness. This isn't madness. This is... Inquisitor. Your Honor, I appeal to you thoroughly. Perform your duties. You well know yourself. You have to examine each allegation that is brought. As the Prosecutor General of Local Curia and the Inquisitorial Judge, you have to bring a charge against Cardinal Tranquilius. Tell me then, what evidence do you have against him? Choose your words carefully. So then, Grand Duchess Juliet Hedrick confessed he reputedly performed the rite of invocation of the following ancient Baphomet with whom she then fornicated, and therefore gave birth to monstrous, unclean creatures. And she confessed that she prepared and performed the rite of invocation at Cardinal Tranquilis's bidding. That's not enough! Continue! I've acquired certain letters addressed to Cardinal Tranquilius. An unknown heretic encourages him in the letters to take all the steps needed to invoke the fallen angel Baphomet. It's still not enough to accuse the Cardinal's son. Do you have some other evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Dieter von Gelbendiel testified he saw Cardinal Tranquilius one evening in the Episcopal Garden where the Cardinal was giving orders to one of his accomplices for performing the unclean rite. Well, the arguments you brought forward is too cognate and allegation too grave for me to act otherwise. Although I trust in Cardinal Tranquilius's innocence, I have to grant your suit. I bring a charge of heresy against Cardinal Tranquilius. You have my permission to arrest him, your sir. Thanks, Your Honor. But at the same time, I have to, although I do find it unwittingly, temporarily assume the authority of a curial inquisitor according to the Codex of Inquisition. Exactly, Your Honor. Congratulations. There's no need to congratulate me. I know that nothing good will come from it. And now, if you'll excuse me, please. Leads to the secret underground chambers of Duke Rowan van Leeren. Stuff shit going down there.
Hello, son. I heard you initiated a trial against Judge Valerian, and you had him convicted of heresy. Is that true? Yes, I am. Very interesting. I must admire your courage to look for all evil amongst the members of the Holy Office. Not many would be brave enough to do something like that. But on the other hand, as an executor of divine justice, you have undermined the faith and the infallibility and purity of the Inquisition. But who am I to judge your deeds? I don't know where Tronculius is. I used to being in a dungeon where people aren't trying to kick the shit out of me. Son, I'm afraid I can't let you into the depths of the Archdiocese in dungeons. I have to go back. Cardinal Twinkleus is accused of severe crimes. I'm here to arrest him. Let me enter. I'm sorry, but I'm not obliged to accept orders from you. I'm subordinate exclusively to Cardinal Twinkleus. Then I'll have to enter using force. <gasps> now you don't have to <laughs> Diablos. Guys are still getting attacked over there. So better to bring him. I'm just fucking saved. God damn you, motherfucker. So this is gonna be fucked up. I'm gonna have to fight all these priests in here. be using the power of ghost magic. Paralyzed, fantastic. Okay, we're going 
go to a fuck up human's weapon. The destroyer. Potions, anyone? Shit. <laughs> Battle axe just slaying him. <laughs> One hit. Nice fucking potions. This is great. Fucking shitty dog. Fucking Christ, man. Resistance doesn't help, but we'll try it.
careful about saving so close to these guys. I'm going to get caught saving on a fucking uh, instant death, and it's not going to be good. So it's time to do another backup save. In fact, let's get two backup saves going. We know we're on the right track here. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a little ridiculous. I was gonna walk up in here and just slay shit, but these uh these super monks are badass. Might have to stay back a little bit. This dungeon is dirty. It's a dirty, dirty dungeon. Diabolical means. infinite healing there. Not that helpful since you gotta touch it. <laughs> Those guys just get murdered. Yeah. Fuck these mana potions. I'm gonna make a killing off mana potions when I get back. Dude, I need stamina potions. Prisoners in here. Yeah. 
Wait, where are you going, good man? I'm free. My prayers and dreams have been fulfilled. Thank you for setting me free. I was about to think they'll torture me to death down here. Okay. Got a couple guys free here. That might help. I was hoping they'd walk around the level a little bit more. Maybe help kill some of these fuckers. Join me in my quest to slay evil priestess. Thank you, baby Jesus. <laughs> the church bells are tolling. Probably go back to town. Fuck. And then come back down to level two is probably the best idea. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. We'll see you soon in more of the Episcopal dungeon. Going down to level two. Wasn't really anything up past this door. I just think it's some priest making out little boys or something. Um, but nothing we need to go to. And then the dungeon starts getting sick. <laughs> Just doing a little quick explore. All right, we'll see you soon. Thanks for